Welcome back to another episode of the Buko Boys. That's right. That's the one you're waiting for, huh? Yes. You <laughs> love that yeah, intro. New season, same intro. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> how, how you feeling right now? Oh my god, I had a, I had quite the day today. <laughs> Did you? You got stuck in some snow? Oh my god, yeah. I started the day uh, waking up at like 3.30 going to start the day early going to go do some ice fishing right Three, oh yeah you got to get there before the fish wake up <laughs> anyways yeah we get out we take this road we haven't been to this lake forever strawberry 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 uh we go down this road to get to this one marina and it was rough it, a lot of snowmobiles take this path and a lot of trucks not taking this path okay uh yeah we got stuck we got stuck uh, for a good couple hours we had to get a, oh, a snow cat to come pull us out Ugh. <laughs> that was freezing. Oh, it's like negative five today. No, no. We got stuck like three times. No. Nope. Oh, it sucked. But we got out and we ended up still fishing. But how long did you fish for? How long? Yeah. Probably like five hours. Okay. So we still got a good amount of fishing in. But man, was it was it a rough start though? No. And then uh, we've recorded the EVP podcast episode, and then we went and got some food. How was your food? I got sick of it real fast. I mean, it was good, but I just, uh, that's why you don't eat appetizers as entrees. Well, if it's good, you can. I mean, if it's good, it's good for like 10 bites, and you get sick of it real fast. So, nope. Yeah. My food was good when it finally arrived. Yeah, but also right. just appetizers. Here's a, here's, a, here's a message for all the servers and waiters and waitresses. Write down the order. Our waitress did not write down the order, and I didn't, did I call it or not? You did. I'm like, this business wouldn't take writing this down. Like, I, it drives me crazy when they don't write down the orders. Because I'm like, they're going to mess it up. Because, you know, you place your order, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. You know, you make changes. You, you ask questions. And my food didn't get entered in. I knew it. And guess what? There's only three of us. Us two and Tim. And you think the waitress who had maybe one other table than us <laughs> could take our three orders? No. Well, Never. she did. She just didn't put yours in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she, she saw my lips moving, and then that was about she it. She acknowledged your lips moving. <laughs> She's like, you got it. I'm like, she didn't get it. <laughs> one of us is not getting our food, and it was me, the one who called it out. So next Maybe time that, that happens, it. you're going to call him back to the table and say, hey, write it down. I, honestly, I was thinking when she was just listening to our orders, like, are you, you're not going to write this down? Are you, you got it? You sure? I was thinking of this in my head to, to actually mention I thought about it. I don't want to look like a dick. That would, that would be a dick move. I know, but it's been on my mind. And so I, I like to call this shit out so I can be historically correct. When they, Luckily, you know, I did say something to you guys. Like, she can write it down. She, I hope she doesn't mess it up. So when she did mess it up, I was like, ah, called it. Called it. The look on her face when you called her out. Yeah, so Tim, Tim's in the room still. He's, 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 he's half asleep. And, and so he goes, <laughs> the look on her face when she comes back and she said, how's your food? As Tim and Dale are halfway through their meals, I'm like, I don't know. I haven't got mine yet. And I just ordered wings. you think that'd be pretty easy to remember. Wings and a bar. It's <sighs> her first day. Kind of. It might have been. It's, they just opened. They Today. Did, they did yesterday. just open. But, uh, it's her first day. Listen. If you're a waitress or a waiter or a server, write it down. Just write it down. You'll be okay. I know you got a good memory, but still, write it down. It also won't hurt to write it down. Now I I'll would not remember it. Now I'll step off my soapbox. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's, that's, hey, I ran a restaurant for a while. I managed a restaurant for a little bit. And I saw it all the time. The, the servers would not take the orders. I'm like, you're not going to write this down? Like, I got it. And I get a complaint. I'm like, hmm, wish we'd have wrote that down so you... Would have forgotten not forgotten their food because it sucks when you are sitting there with no food. And everyone else is eating food. So yeah, it does. <laughs> it sucks. It also sucks to get your food spilled on. I've had that happen. Um, spilled on you? Yes. Ah. <laughs> so this was this was a uh, this was a night after after the clubs. This is back in my clubbing days, and we went to Village Inn. That's where it was. Village Inn. I'm not trying to put them on blast. I'm just That's saying where problem. I went because you know it was like two thirty in the morning. That's, they're like one of three places open. So so we went there, um, and we, we placed our order, and the server's coming. And so we, oh gosh, there's probably maybe like eight of us, all right? And so I'm at the end of the table. Like, I'm sitting at the head of the table, as I should be, right? <laughs> I'm sitting at the head of the table. She comes behind me, 
And grab your boobs. <laughs> I don't know what happened, <laughs> but uh, I instantly felt something hot on my body, which was the coffee, <laughs> and then instantly something cold, which is the ice water. And, and then I felt, pants. and I felt everything else fall into my lap. Ugh. And she just was mortified. She just looked at me and was like, I'm so sorry. She ran back. I was assuming to go get like, you know, towels or something like that. She and the, quit. Man- <laughs> the manager came back. She, you know, she said, she's in the back just crying. And she was, this lady was probably, again, okay, again, this was like a Saturday night, maybe 2.30 in the morning. And she's probably like in her 60s would be my guess. She was in her 60s yeah, and she was that'd crying? that would be my guess. And so she's crying because she felt terrible, you oh. know? Like she felt bad. And I was okay. I wasn't mad or anything because, you know, it happens. I, it's not like she did it on purpose. I don't think it was on purpose. <laughs> uh, I think I was kind of sober by that point, so I don't think I was being belligerent. But yeah, she didn't come out the rest of the night and my food was free. Because and... <laughs> so, you got to wear it at home. Yeah, I got to wear it. Yeah, I was co- covered in coffee and water, so that was interesting. I don't know <laughs> if I've had anything spilled on me by... The staff. Yeah, I encourage you don't. I, yeah. Yeah. Probably uh, don't. <laughs> I, I like I like the streak I'm on right now. Yes. I'm good. on a good streak. My streak's not bad. It's once. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> well, speaking of food. Oh, yes. You I got, got I, something for I got us. something here. I want to try. I've, I've been a little interested in it. I haven't even heard of these until you brought it up. You know about all the treats. I know. You know I got all the ins on the <laughs> treats. <laughs> I've been seeing these at a, a couple gas stations, and these are Hostess Donuts. You might remember Hostess from such flavors as Ding Dongs and Twinkies. <laughs> oh, I've heard of them. <laughs> and uh, they got these things called Boost Donuts, or I should say they're Jumbo Donuts, because, you know, they got their little donuts. Yeah, Hostess makes donuts. Those are good. Those are <laughs> These are good. Jumbo, because this is the size of an actual donut. So Almost the full size. So instead of calling them a Jumbo Donut, I think they just should just call them a donut. <laughs> well, they, they I think Donut is their uh, trademark name. They got they own that. Yeah, so they're sticking with their name. That's, just their, that's their shit. But what this is, this is a caffeinated donut. So you don't need the coffee. Exactly. This is you're on the go. This, again, this was at a gas station. You're on the go. You don't got time to drink coffee and eat a How donut. How much caffeine is in this bag? Mean, check it out. So it's a caffeinated donut. It's equal to one cup of coffee in this donut. Does it say anything? Um, I didn't really try to read I guess it too it's not much. In the nutrition. Well, the mo- as soon as you said it's the amount of one cup of coffee, I just went with that. All right. I don't know what the I don't know what that is either. Caffeine amount is. So I thought let's try them out. There's two flavors. Caramel macchiato and chocolate mocha. As I was purchasing these from the gas station, the attendant was like, "Those are so good." I said, "Really? I'm, I'm never trying. Which one do you like better?" He said, "The chocolate mocha." So maybe we should end with that one. Okay. And let's start with this caramel macchiato. Because yeah, I'm yawning already. Let's do it now. Let's see if it works. Right now, right. now's the test. So I'm gonna grab me off a little piece here. All right. It's a it's a cake donut. Again, it's it's their donuts. Let's try it here. Caramel macchiato. I can smell the macchiato. It's funny they had to do coffee flavors just to make it equivalent to coffee. 50 to 70 milligrams per donut. 7 milligrams of caffeine? 50 to 70. 50 to 70. It was a pretty big range, I think. I don't know. It's not bad, though. Pretty good. I mean... What? I'm not a fan of that coffee flavor in it. Yeah, caramel macchiato. All right, let's try this one. Chocolate mocha. I do love mochas. Do you like mochas? This is chocolate and coffee. <laughs> That's what, exactly what it is. <laughs> chocolate syrup. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I don't really taste the chocolate. Me neither. Well, I mean, I, all I, I mean, taste I is don't chocolate. T- I don't taste the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty good. I like. I do like that one. All right, let's, I'm going to have a little bit more. I'm going to pick this as we record. And I, see have if we a, wake up. I can taste the coffee at the end of it. I did too. We'll see if we nibble at these and it wakes us up. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if they. So we'll tell you at the end of the episode <laughs> if these work or not. And we'll see. All right, what's, what's going on in the news today? I don't know. <laughs> Neil Young's throwing a fit. Oh, yeah. For Joe Rogan. He's got a total hard on for Joe Rogan right now. <laughs> He's got a hard off for him now. No, he's turned. He's turned his heart off. 
So Neil Young just wrote a letter to Spotify saying, hey, is Joe Rogan or me? Spotify said, bye, Neil Young. Well, over uh, Joe Rogan's false information about COVID, which I don't know what he said that's false. Do you know what he said that's well, false? <clears throat> so Joe Rogan brought on Robert, Dr. Robert Malone. And I guess it was just something, you know, that Dr. Malone's saying where... And I know Dr. Malone's been blocked on Twitter because they're saying he's spreading... I don't know. I don't know what he's spreading, like anti-COVID stuff. I don't know what he's saying. But he's a doctor, so, I mean, just because his opinion is different than others it makes him wrong, I, I don't know, you know. And so Joe Rogan brings these guests on. Joe Rogan's like, hey, hey, enough with the shutdowns. Enough with the mandatory masks. You know, it's not going to stop it. He's right, right? He hasn't stopped it. I mean, right? he's not really trying, trying to like, spread rhetoric. He's just like, hey, these are what I'm seeing. I br- Joe Rogan brings on doctors all the time. And he lets them share their, their opinions. You know, he's not like, um, I don't know. Well, the, he's, uh, what I like about Joe Rogan, too, is he's all about, like, getting to the bottom of things. He's open-minded, out, too. Oh, yeah, very open-minded. He doesn't, like, pick sides. Right. He's more of like, okay... Why is it you, that you think this way? Can you tell me the facts about things? And, mm-hmm. and gets down to like get to know stuff. And he'll call people out on things too if, if he doesn't understand what the mm-hmm. hell they're talking about. Then he forms his opinion based on information he gathers from different sources. Exactly. Which is what people should be doing. Everybody should be doing that. Yeah. Instead of just hearsay. Whether you're, whether you're pro or anti, you should be getting both sides of the information. And making a, then making an educated opinion. Of again, your own. Yeah. Instead again, of following just what you think. The, the group that what they say that you like it's called it's called a cult yeah it's like following the cult that you like um or the color that you like <laughs> that's why i'm independent that's why i make fun of everybody it's fun um but but yeah i mean he, he doesn't have like an agenda he, he the key word i use a lot here is opinion right get both sides form your opinion again it's your opinion it's not a fact your opinion is not a fact just to you it's a fact it's not a fact to anybody else and so, you know, he, he brings this doctor on, so everyone thinks, oh, this, well, this one doctor is anti-mask or anti-vax or whatever the doctor is. So, so that means Joe Rogan must be because he brings this guest on. Well, no, I mean, he, I mean, he is kind of like, it's not going to really stop it. But, but yeah, so Neil Young's like, all right, Joe Rogan's podcast is spreading false information. It's like, no, he just, bring, he just brought another doctor on to give an opinion. And so... He gave an ultimatum to Spotify, and Spotify said... Suck it, Neil. They were nice. They were, they were being uh, professional and said, we hope he changes his mind. But basically, bye. Mask up and see you later. Neil Young who? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 when I saw this news, I was looking through like the uh, comments when I first saw this. I don't remember where I first saw this article. I've seen it in a few places now. But I was kind of reading through to see who who's commenting. Because I was curious if people were like, who's, who's Neil? I was wondering if people were going to say that. Like, who's Neil Young? But but no, I didn't see that. <laughs> I mean, he's still kind of relevant. I mean, he's not that long gone. <laughs> I guess not. Maybe like a couple decades ago. <laughs> His fans are still out there. His fans are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and I, li- I like Neil Young. But I, I didn't he like get famous? Or it wasn't when, when his big stance when he was, I mean, he was younger, so you can always change your, you know, your stance or opinion on things. But wasn't he like a lot of, like, I don't know, like anti the man? That's what I kind of got the impression of when I he was younger. I couldn't tell you. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know nothing about but, Neil Young. But it's funny that he put that ultimatum to, to him, and then me and Tim were just looking up Spotify. He's got two of his own songs left now on Spotify, just two songs. So he's gone. He's gone from Spotify. <laughs> I guess a couple other people are also... He's going to wipe himself from history books altogether. Yeah. Listen, Spotify just gave Joe Rogan $100 million to be exclusively to Spotify. They can afford to lose you, Neil. Yeah, they're, yeah you're just not on the priority list. <laughs> podcast is where it's at. That's why all you guys are listening to the Buko Boys podcast. <laughs> all the millions of her fans. Yes, there's so many. <laughs> we'll ne- we're next. We're next to Spotify. In fact, I better, I better check my. I better hit refresh on my email. I bet Spotify emailed us recently. Oh, a million times. They're like, "Hey guys, want to be exclusive to us?" And I would do it <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred million dollars. I would do it. Which I am sad that Joe Rogan did go to Spotify. Do you listen to podcasts on Spotify? Or what do you? Use? Yeah, I use Spotify. 
I use Apple Podcasts. And so I just hated that I had to download Spotify well, just to listen to it. I, uh, I decided I was looking for like a music platform to stream. And like I have used Tidal before, but Spotify What's just seems. That? That's Tidal. still around? It is. Actually, yeah. it's getting bigger, I think. Huh. Huh. Yeah, but I don't have, I don't use it anymore. I just use Spotify now, but okay. Um, I went with Spotify just because it seemed more uh, more things available on it, so I just went that route. Okay, all right. I like it though. I don't. I don't mind it. It was just it's just an extra app I have to download just for Joe Rogan's podcast. But I'll do it because I like Joe Rogan's yeah, just podcast. Do it. <laughs> I do, and I like his podcast. It's I get why it's number one. It's numero uno. It's a shit ton of commercials though. But but here's the good thing. It's all in the beginning. That is nice. So you I, can fast forward through I just it. go right to like six minutes and then see what's there. Because yeah. usually it's about six to eight-ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, it's all, it's, it's, it's front-loaded with ads. But then it's, I, don't, I think maybe once in a while they'll throw an ad in the middle. But it's rare. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's probably Spotify made him do it. Probably, yeah. <laughs> he usually probably find the way he had it. But I do, I do like Joe Rogan's podcast. I mean, I don't listen to every episode because it's three hours. He does every. one like every day, huh? Sometimes. Like, he'll go on a kick where it's like every day. It's like, that's a, that's a lot. I can't keep up. Yeah, so I, I had to pick and choose the guests that I listen to. But I do like it. I like I like his take on things. I like, me personally, I'm a big fan of Joe Rogan. I like where his head's at. I like how he thinks. Because he is. He's open-minded and he's, he's lurching for answers. I mean, he had that whole show. What was it called? Joe Rogan searches for answers or something like that. Searches the oh, truth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot he had a show. Yeah, yeah, like that's what that's his thing. Like he wants, he loves information. He loves like gathering information and then making a decision from that. I, I like I like how he thinks, and he's a big MMA fan, and I'm a big MMA fan, so I love his commentary. So on when are you guys getting married? I can't wait. <laughs> my man crush. <laughs> right. I just realized he is my man crush. Well, it sounds like Who's it. yours? I don't even know. I don't get giddy like that over it. Tim's dudes. is Patrick Wilson. <laughs> yes. Yours is Jason Momoa. <laughs> I, don't, I never talk about him. <laughs> Who do you talk about? Nobody. Your fish. I, I don't talk about nobody. You have a beast fetish fish. <laughs> oh, no. I'm obsessed with fishing. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of being top paid in the podcast world, I found this. I found this article. That is interesting. And it's uh, it's from... I don't read this article. This What's this called? Platform? Media platform? Much? But it's 2Fab. Oh, okay. seen it? I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. So this is the top paid TikTokers and YouTubers of 2021. And I can't believe we didn't make the list. I'm a little... Well, f- I guess I, I know why I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> but we're on YouTube. We should be... I should switch over to TikTok. Maybe if I... I am switching over to TikTok. Well, I mean, I, I do snaps every day. Should I just do TikToks Gosh, every day? Who does snaps? Though? I don't know. I do. Gosh. I'm obsessed with that thing. Yeah, I'll give it the times. So, uh, so, what, so if I download TikTok, do I have to dance in everything no, I do? I'm not. I'm going to do different I'm gonna do different things. Am I going to just be at the store and all of a sudden just wind up and do some stupid you shit can. and dab and do all you sorts do of weird shit just as I'm looking at items? You you yeah, saying you saying now. dab right now explains why you still have Snapchat. So, just what, the kids not dab anymore? <laughs> oh, great. I'm, uh, you just questioning that makes me understand why you're on Snapchat still. <laughs> I thought dab... Did, did I date myself? I thought dabbing was still... <laughs> well, what about the Roger Rabbit? <laughs> what the hell's happening? <laughs> so, these are the top five paid TikTokers in 2021. And if you're just barely ca- catching on to this episode, this is January 2022. This is so, they're getting paid by TikTok. Yes. Do they run ads or something in their TikToks? How are they getting paid by TikTok? They're they're influencers, and so I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know all the ins and outs of it. So I do know, yes, TikTok or YouTube pays them to still because it brings viewers. And guess what's at the beginning of the videos? <coughs> ads. Just because I know, like YouTube, you put the ads in your YouTube video. Sometimes YouTube does it for you. But then you get revenue that way. Yes. Well. I don't know if they run ads in the middle of TikToks. I don't when know. you're scrolling, sometimes it'll be ads. In between. And yeah, I've between seen scrolling. some of the more popular TikTokers doing ads. 
for okay days. so they're doing commercials yeah so we like couldn't hear so so again tim's in the studio and he just kind of was explaining to dale here because he's he's not tech I'm savvy way <laughs> out of date i guess so as you're scrolling like in between you'll see ads in between the the <clears throat> between the videos and then also you'll see these tiktokers in the commercials so does tiktok also have like a messaging format i don't want to message each other yeah. Okay, so you can message each other on TikTok. And what about celebrities? Like I, so I see this thing with TikTok. Where oh, they'll, they'll, they'll message you back. They can't no, wait to no, message no, no. you. I mean, people will make like a video and then people respond to their videos. But then like celebrities also respond to these videos too. Yep. If they want, yeah. They can. Huh. And hmm. they can't wait for you to talk uh, to them. All the celebrities are waiting for all me right now. All the celebrities are waiting for you. <laughs> Aquaman, <laughs> Jason <laughs> Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't wait for you. <clears throat> All right. So this is the top paid TikTokers of 2021. Number five. I don't even know who this is. Number five is a, is a guy named Josh Richards. Never heard of him. All right. Um, let's see. What is, what is it going to talk about? Um, yeah, sponsorships. Yeah, and things like that. He made five million dollars on TikTok in 2021. Five million. The hell. Number four, this is my little crush, little Filipina crush, Bella Porch. Okay, she's a hottie. Ugh. She's Ugh. a hottie for sure. I was kind of telling you about her before she yeah, blew you, up. Yeah, you told me about her. I didn't even have TikTok at that time. I just kind of started knowing about her. <laughs> yeah, she's um, a hottie. She also made a, just over $5 million in 2021, and now she's singing. She just started a singing career. She's made a new song it's called Build a Bitch. Yeah, I, I heard that. Uh, number th- the next t- the next three you're probably if you are on TikTok you're probably gonna guess the next three. Number three Addison Ray. In fact, the next three the top three are all dance. They do do they do all the dancing stuff on on TikTok. Addison Ray eight point five million, but she's also moving into um, commentating like sports commentating. Uh, well, who is she? Um, th- that's her. So she started off on TikTok doing a lot of like, dance videos. And then, oh, you you like what you see? <laughs> so she started to thumbs like, up Dale. Talk now. <laughs> um, so she did like a lot of the dance stuff that you see. I'm sure if you watch them, if you went to like look at her like greatest hits or whatever they call it, I bet you like, oh yes, I've seen all these. Because because there you mentioned do I have to dance from a TikTok? You probably mm-hmm. have seen her. In fact, the next three, these top three, you've probably seen. Uh, but anyway, she started singing now and acting and sports commentating. So good for her. She's diversifying her income. Mm-hmm. Number two is Dixie D'Amelio. Okay, these two I haven't heard of. Yeah, yet. number one is Charlie. So Charlie's number one. She's the most famous TikToker right now. Um, so Dixie's her sister. She made, and, I, and now they have a reality show about their family. And I don't, like, I see their video. I've seen some of them. Yeah. Just because they've, I've, like, talk about them being famous or whatever. Yeah, just be careful. I don't know if they're 18 yet. So no, 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 I'm not even, ones. like, <laughs> looking at them in that way. I just mean, there's nothing like great about the way they like nothing great about their dances. There's it nothing. Means, it's just what made TikTok famous. You know, it's just they did this and people liked it. Yeah, it just seems like how come they're so watched when, like, um, millions of other kids do this well, exact same I want thing. You to try to do their moves. No, I mean all the other <laughs> kids are doing those exact same moves the same well, way. You can't argue with it. You just gotta accept it. I just don't wonder why they just are at the it. top. Don't argue with it. Just accept it. I'm not, I'm questioning. I'm doing a Joe Rogan right now. <laughs> <laughs> so number two is Dixie. She made ten million. Number one's Charlie. Seventeen point five million. This is insane. From TikTok. These are teenagers making millions yeah. by having social media. Yeah. And why some of these people I actually we'll go to YouTube next, but some of these people are getting into NFTs and they might blow up with that too. Did you hear about this guy from Indonesia, this college student, that became a millionaire with his NFTs? Well, I've heard of people already making tens of millions and hundreds of millions off their NFTs. Well, his NFTs, he, this was just a broke-ass college student in Indonesia, and he thought it would be hilarious if he would sell his selfies as NFTs. And people thought it was <laughs> hilarious, and they bought them all up. And he became a millionaire yeah. overnight. That's awesome. <laughs> that is like holy shit that is the coolest thing ever we need to make some buko boy nfts i don't even know what the fuck they are you need to find some blockchain experts i don't get it so you just make digital things or pictures of things and yeah. sell it we could yeah we can make like okay know. i'm gonna do all my saved snapchats that i've saved 
Yeah. And I'm going to sell my sna- save Snapchat. Yeah. If anyone's interested, they'll buy it. Um, I know. Uh, I don't. Like, we could do like NFT podcast episodes where only people that buy our NFTs get like a special podcast. Like, there's all sorts of things. You well, there's do. those cameos. Um, what's. Um, Is that like an NFT, those cameos? Yeah, kind of. It's like an association with the NFT. Like, if you buy this NFT, you get this NFT and you get like a cameo from us. So it's like in addition to things like that. Um, for example, Mila Kunis and uh, Ashton Kutcher, they have like something to do with this cartoon, this cat cartoon and you, NFTs. And I don't know. But people are in control because they own the NFT. They control the next episode of the cartoon. Like, I don't get it's just it's, it's endless and it's just the beginnings. This is weird. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of interesting. I, st- I don't get it. All right. Let's I'm so top. behind. I still Snapchat, so. I know. I'm still dabbing. <laughs> I, well, I don't dab. I never got into dabbing. <laughs> I see, mean, I'll I'll do a dab. If you have a couple of drinks and you're going to dance for you, like, what do I do now? Dab? <laughs> I know. I still shake the dice and roll them. <laughs> All right. These are the top 10 income earners on YouTube for 2021. I don't even know some of these people. Number 10 is Preston our cement. I don't know if I'm saying that. I don't right. even watch YouTube unless I'm um, needing to learn how to do something. But uh, Oh, he did gaming videos. Yeah, the gaming videos. That's a big oh, yeah, thing. We talked about that. I don't yeah. get that. I don't understand so why. He's, he's Preston Plays with a Z. Preston Plays with a Z. Watch me play. Um, he, he made $16 million Just playing. Just playing, playing video games. Number nine, you probably know number nine, Logan Paul. Okay. Still, he's still on there. He's got a podcast now. Probably not as famous as the Boogle Boys, <laughs> but yeah, he's trying. He's trying. Uh, he's got a podcast and and he's boxing. <laughs> he made and doing YouTube videos. He made eighteen million. In fact, I wonder if his YouTube channel is now just more geared towards his podcast. I think it's just all advertisements of him. Probably, like old vines. Like, <laughs> this is a compilation of old vines. <laughs> Probably. Uh, number eight. I like these guys. Dude, perfect. These guys are. They, they do want to do the trick shots. Yeah. They make I, the. They made the basketball hoop from off a building. They do that. What's many crazy times. is. How many shots do you think they have to do to actually I've get actually it on? I've actually listened to podcasts of them as, as featured guests. and so, Some of them they did on the first try, and they just were blown away because one was like they rented a helicopter. They're like, how are we going to do this? They did it from moving a helicopter on the first try. So it just saved them money on the rental. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, you know, dozens, hundreds of tries, you know, it's, it's crazy. They're number eight at $20 million last year. They do a lot of work, though. Yeah. So out of, like, people that do videos and, and TikToks or whatever, like this guy that Preston plays, he just plays video games. He does yeah. nothing but just sit there. Yes. Where these guys are actually, like, trying and doing and putting in work. and Yeah. Like, and even though they're having fun and it's all, like, fun that they're having, sure. they're putting in a ton of work. And that stuff does not look easy. It does not look easy. It just looks <laughs> killer, though. All right, the next two are kids. So they started off um, as young kids. Their parents helped them set up YouTube channels, and they're just like playing with toys, um, like unwrapping toys, um, doing like just fun things. And number seven is Ryan Kaji. So he, he like he's that little kid that has those... Ryan's World. Yeah. yeah. So you can go like Target. I think Target has like a section of like Ryan's World recommendations or something like that. This cat looks like a kid now. He's 10 years old right now. They're still playing with toys. He made $27 million. $27 million, this 10-year-old. I think this isn't even his highest year. Um, I think it is, and I think his parents took it all. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. Um, number six, Nastya. I, I'm not, I, hope, I'm not, I'm not I hope I'm saying it right, um, but she made $28 million. Also a um, little kid. Yeah, I don't even know who she is, and she made more than this Ryan kid. Made a million dollars more. Um, this person named Unspeakable, also known as Nathan Graham. Um, I think he does, yep, yeah, he does Minecraft and challenges games, stuff like that. So $28.5 million playing Minecraft. What the hell? All right, this next, all right, this next one, number four. This one makes sense to me. I, I kind of like their show. They do put, they put some work into it. They put a lot of research into theirs. It's Rhett and Link. Their show is The Good Mythical Morning. You ever watch that? Mm-mm. No, these guys are good. These guys are pretty funny. I don't watch a lot of them. I don't watch YouTube. But they, they, these guys are fun to watch. They're, they're, they're pretty funny. They put a lot of work into theirs, too. Uh, number three. I don't know who this one is. Let's see. Um, let's see if it shows what he does. I don't even know. But 
like, oh, he made some, maybe he makes movies or something like that? Anyway, his name is Markiplier. I'm sorry if I don't know you and I don't know, I'm not saying your name right. I'm sorry to the fans that like his stuff. I just never heard of him. Markiplier. Markiplier, $38 million last year from YouTube. Isn't that crazy? Number two is the brother of Logan Paul, and that's Jake Paul. Um, you know, and he, I don't know what, I, was, I didn't know he still did video. I thought he was just focusing on his boxing career. I didn't know he was still making videos. But he made $45 million last year. And probably his boxing career. It's probably career, boxing, too. I'm sure it's probably him sparring or stuff like that. But I bet it's just him being out there has gained a lot of um, attention to his YouTube channel. Right, because then people are like, who is this guy? And start watching yes. his videos to see who he is. And then number one is Mr. Beast. So he's a gamer as well, but he's he's done a lot of different things. No, he does way more than gaming, though. I think that's how he started, though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if that's how he started. I, I yeah, you know, I don't even know how he started. I and I, I just seen things, but I always see like his videos where he's always like bribing people to make money to do things. And I was like, how long is this guy making money? Well, now I figured out, because he made last year fifty four million dollars. Fifty. But he gives million. away a ton of stuff. Yeah, that's why. That's why I was wondering, like, how was he able to give away? Like, what does this guy do? Like, I wasn't sure who he was. Well, he's a YouTuber. <laughs> that's all he does. And he made makes over fifty he makes million dollars. Videos of himself giving things away and gets more money than he got. <laughs> then, dude, there you go. That's it, right? He's giving away and he's making the most. That's incredible. I think yeah. that's crazy. Well, it's time for the Buka boys to step up. <laughs> yeah, start giving things away. It's time to get in this million dollar range. Yeah. We're so close. <laughs> I guess I need more time on my hands to YouTube. What am I going to YouTube we're, we're about? so close. Fish. I should. But there's a ton of people doing fishing videos out there. And you can be another one. I'll do it. I'll do it in a bikini. <laughs> yeah. The Borat bikini. Unikini. Yes. Whatever it's called. Man-kini. Unitard. Mankini. <laughs> the mankini. Awesome. Well, Booga Boys need to get to that level. All right. Let's do it. We then. need you guys. <laughs> So subscribe to our Patreon. That's kidding. That's kidding. <laughs> all right, interesting stuff. How you feeling from this uh, boost, boost uh, donut? Well, I'm still feeling all shitty from the entree appetizer I ate. Sushi nachos you had. Yeah. Did you yeah. mention what it was? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, sushi, sushi nachos. Sushi nachos and concept is okay. Nah. Um, I mean they're not they're not using tortilla chips. They're using wontons, but at the same time, it was delicious for like the first few bites. And then after that, I regretted it. I wish I could just end it all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel any different energy-wise. But also, when I drink coffee, I usually, I usually don't get a boost of energy when I drink coffee anyway. I don't mean It's the sugar. It's the sugar. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching and listening to another episode of, of the Buko Boys. Boys. Bye. Bye, everybody.